Cheryl said, I'm going to show you how to put a drum together. When you put a drum together, you want to be at your belt buckle high end. Um, you don't want to be too close to the drum or else your head is checking it and it'll be like this. And then if you're too far away, your arms will be all stretched out. And then the best way to tell if you're doing it right is you go like this and then you put your um, drumstick on the drum. And you want your arms hanging straight down, right? So hang your arm down. Arm straight down. Do it one more time for him. Yep. Out like that. Good job. Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm going to show you how to hold your drumsticks. First, you pinch the drumsticks like this, and then you let all your other fingers come on, but your pink pinky barely touches. And then you hold your sticks like this. When you flip them over, you want no butt showing, so you hold it like this. This is the correct way to hold them. But this is the wrong way for the butt, show, butt showing. So, when, um, if you hold the sticks all the way up here, the stick will feel really light. But if you hold it all the way up here, it'll feel all the way. It'll feel really heavy. The tip of your stick will feel really heavy. But if you hold it right, you gotta find your place right where you want, and then you hold it right there, and it'll feel just like just like on a teeter tire. Hi, my name is Noah, and I'm going to show you how to make your first note in a different positions. When you go to make your first note, you don't want to slam it, but you want to have make it be a nice little bounce with the flick of your wrist. You don't want to use your whole arm because it'll really mess you up and it'll ruin the whole play or whatever you're doing. And you also want to try to keep your tips really close together so it makes more of a fine sound, doesn't sound all over. And you want to keep your tips close to the end right here, like right here. And then after that, once you go for your first note, you flick your wrist and go. And then for our positions, you put, this is rest position. When Mr. Asher's off the podium, you put your sticks at your belt buckle. And then once he gets on the stage, go like this. You flick it out like a ninja, and once he puts his arms up like this, you go like this and flick into rest, and you flick into your positions. The positions are, he, this is our, uh, or their levels, this is our first level. It's the quietest one, it sounds like this. And then our second level, which is medium loud, it sounds like this. And then our third level, sounds like this. And remember, always keep your tips when you go up and down. Make sure they never cross the other tip. Hi, my name is Ashley Evans, and we're going to work on the first exercise Mr. S taught us. The first exercise is fourzies. It goes... And remember, always to keep your tips together. And wherever you, the height, wherever, keep it right at that height.